गाइस इज वांगी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल I know, I know. I'm looking completely different right now, and that is, of course, because of my hair. So I just want to tell you that I was extremely bored of my old haircut. Like I was really bored, yeah. And I'm somebody who keeps experimenting with hair, you know, with different haircuts and with different hair colors because I don't know how to make different hairstyles. So just few days ago, I was just thinking what to do. My initial plan was to go really short, but then I thought that maybe I should get my childhood haircut done again. and that's how this happened i know some of you are going to hate it and some of you are going to probably love it but uh, guys i did it for my own happiness i am so happy like it is such a refreshing change i can't even tell you so all of you who hate it please don't get it done and all of you who love it thank you so much All right now that I have spoken about my hair uh let's talk about today's video in today's video I'm going to try out an eye shadow palette for which I got a lot of requests in the past and a lot of people also used to ask me if I've tried this out and I had not the MRP of the palette is 699 rupees but it is always on discount like every time i went on nika to check this palette it was always on discount let me just show you the palette first i'm so sorry uh i'm talking about nika k i shadow palette i got the shade mocha mix again the mrp is 699 rupees but yeah i bought it for 350 rupees in fact i was toying around with the idea of buying this palette for some reason i used to just have a look at it and then forget to buy it finally last week i bought it and i'm going to test this out i only bought one color because i never buy anything in bulk especially something new which i have never tried out so i'm going to test this mocha mix palette out in today's video and give you my thoughts if this eye shadow palette is good or not because 350 rupees is a pretty sweet deal for an eye shadow palette this is also supposed to be a dupe of huda beauty obsessions palette so i'm going to test that out as well um so yeah now without further ado let's begin this tutorial All right so I have clipped up my hair so that they don't disturb you I know they can be a little distracting now coming to the palette um I have not even touched it I don't know what I'm going to get into so every feedback which I'm going to give you is going to be a real time feedback you can see the palette is absolutely new I have not swatched it I have not touched it nothing at all I'm going to try and use as many shades from this palette as possible. I still don't know what I'm going to do, what kind of look I'm going to do, but let's just begin and then I'm pretty sure something nice will come out. I'm first going to take this shade from the palette which is in the center and this I'm going to apply all over my crease with a fluffy brush. Okay there was definitely a lot of pigment in that shade I did not even need to build it up too much Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to dig into this shade from the palette This as well I'm going to apply on my crease near the transition shade So there's a very minor kickback on the pan not too much All right so so far I'm really happy with how pigmented these shades are they're very pigmented there's not much fallout either and they're not even giving me any problems with the blending like they're blending well as well next I'm going to dig into this dark brown shade on the palette and this I'm going to apply on the inner and outer corner of my eyelid Okay so this is one shade which I had to build quite a bit it's a beautiful brown but yeah you definitely have to you know kind of go back to it to make it really dark on your eyelid all right now again i'm going to go back to the first shade and i'm going to apply it on the crease again to blend everything together nicely
so I've done this step on both of my eyelids and this is how it's looking right now the darkest brown shade definitely needs layering up otherwise it does not look all that dark so far it's been doing well and I'm very happy with it now it's time to dig into the shimmery colors I'm going to dig into this shade on the palette now and just for jokes though I also don't do it ever like I always apply shimmery shade either with a wet brush or with a base or with my fingers but just because we're testing it out I'm going to use a dry brush and see what happens so I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade on my dry brush okay it's falling apart a little so it is falling apart quite a bit I need to be a bit careful okay let's apply it on the center of the eyelid so this is not bad but it is not shining as much so I'm going to try it with a wet brush now the shade is really falling apart by the way and I'm not really happy with it like I don't know it's just some flecks are coming out as soon as I'm dipping my brush in it. Now trying it out with a wet brush. Okay, wow. With a wet brush, the pigment is so so nice it is so shiny it definitely works the best with a wet brush the pigment is amazing it's super shiny and works so beautifully with a wet brush but every time I'm dipping my brush in it the color is falling apart can you see there's some flecks of colors which have fallen over here like I'm really trying to pick the pigment from the pan but it is kind of falling apart that's not cool like I wish this was not an issue because the pigment is spot on like it is really shiny and foiled and everything beautiful now let's try out another I'm so happy with this I'm so sorry <laughs> now let's try out another shimmery shade because why not like let's top this up a little with another shimmery shade I'm going to dig into this shade on the palette and I am going to use a wet brush okay this shade as well is quite flaky guys I'm going to place it in the center again It would be safe to say that the shimmery colors on this palette are even better than Wet n Wild Rose in the Air. That is one of my favorite drugstore palettes. These shimmery shades are even better than Rose in the Air and they are almost as good as Huda Beauty shimmery shades. Okay, so I'm giving you a closer look of the eyeshadow right now. This is how it's looking like and I was telling you right that the shimmery shades are flaky so I've got a lot of flakes on my face right now of those shades though I was using a wet brush this can become an issue it does flake out quite a bit I will need to clean this look up I'm going to take the darker brown shade again on a brush and apply it again on the inner and outer corner of my eyelid I'm lightly blending the shimmery shade with the dark brown shade. This one is a troublemaker. <laughs> this color is not the easiest to work with. Okay, and there is a lot of fallout as well now. <laughs> For some reason, uh, while I was trying to do this, there's quite a bit of fallout on my skin. I'll clean it up. Wait. Okay, so this is much better, much cleaner, but 
guys this dark brown shade is very difficult to work with and it did fall all over my face so yeah not a fan of that shade we actually did not try these other shimmery shades so i'm thinking maybe i should apply these as well on the eyelid because why not so next i'm going to dig into this shade and just with my finger i'm going to again place it in the center of my eyelid I'm going to try it with a wet brush as well. This one is not flaky at all. And the pigment is very nice as well. These two shades were very flaky. This one is not flaky at all. I used my finger, I used a wet brush, not flaking at all. You must be thinking what is wrong with me. I'm using so many colors for one look, but we are trying this palette out, so might as well use all the colors and see how they work. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to do much of a clean up now. I think I'm done with the cleaning up bit. I am going to get into the lower lash line and again I'm going to dig into the problematic shade <laughs> to apply it all the way through in my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take this color. This is the last and final shimmery color, which we did not try out. And with a wet brush, I'm going to apply it on the center of my lower lash line. This color as well is not flaking. I think these two are the only colors which are flaky. But yeah, this is also a pretty color. It did not flake or anything. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a bit of this white and I'm going to apply it on my brow bone. I usually apply a highlighter. I will apply a highlighter, but I wanted to try this out. It is quite chalky. Mm. It's not looking nice. I'm not going to do this on the other side. It's not looking nice. Before I use mascara and false lashes, I'm going to apply a bit of highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I'm going to use a sugar contour palette, basically the highlighter from this contour palette. Next, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Volume Million Lashes Mascara. I'm going to apply one coat of this mascara and then put on some falsies. Time to put on false lashes. I'll quickly do that off camera and come back. All right, my false lashes are on. Now, lastly, I'm going to use a lip color. I'll use Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Sell Out. Okay guys, so this is the final look. <laughs> I know it looks very different because of my hair. To be very honest, I am also kind of getting used to these hair. I'm also not used to it. Now, coming to this eyeshadow palette, I would say just one thing. I don't think so there's anything better than this for 350 rupees when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. Um, again, it's for 699. I'm not sure if I would pay 699 for this, but for 350, this is a pretty good palette. The pros would be the shimmers guys, like I'm so happy with the shimmers. They are just so nice and pigmented and so foiled. They look beautiful. That's the biggest plus point of this palette. The shimmers are just amazing. These two shimmers do flake out a bit. They can be a little difficult to work with, like you'll have to be careful and stuff. Cons would be this darker brown color, difficult to work with. It does not 
blend properly on the eyelids it's not as pigmented when i was trying to fix it there was a lot of fallout on my face these two matte colors uh, blended beautifully they were really pigmented and nice the white i'm not the biggest fan of and anyway you don't use that white shade too often in your eyeshadow looks so it doesn't really matter to me i do prefer the matte shades in rose in the air and huda beauty obsession palettes for sure those just feel more buttery and nice and smooth and that's it like you can definitely go for it they've got a lot of colors uh, let's see i might try one more color i might buy one more color to see how that works out i would buy this palette only for its shimmery shades because for that less of a price i think the shimmery shades are bang on they are spot on they are just so nice so it's totally up to you for 350 rupees this is not a bad deal at all and that's it with that we've come to an end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it if you're not following me on instagram then ensure that you do i keep posting makeup related content on my instagram handle as well and if you haven't subscribed to our channel already then please subscribe to our channels we've of course got this channel where i post beauty content and we have got a vlogging channel where we post daily vlogs all the behind the scenes action and if at all you're interested in getting to know me and us more then you can check out our daily vlogging channel i'll leave all the links in the pinned comment of the comment section below and if you like our content then please follow and subscribe on that note i'm gonna sign off for now i shall see you in the next one guys take care of yourself and stay safe bye bye Mwah.